some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, that notorious e-beggar Jeremiah from Auditors of America, Last Days of Freedom, is a little upset about a cop who got who did not get indicted. Now I'll leave a link in the description for what I'm talking about, but the cliff notes are this. Jeremiah and his family were walking through a, a residential neighborhood after going shopping, and the video he posted starts right about the time the off-duty police officer runs up to him and knocks him down. Now you can watch the video, like I said, in the description below, but let's sit back relax and enjoy watching his rant well everybody the grand jury did not indict william thorogood i repeat they did not indict william thorogood i told y'all they were going to protect this piece of shit cop and i told y'all this from the get-go even down to the investigator sitting in the room with my wife saying he would have loved for it to be on video so he could have watched me get attacked by this cop. Given that you have a reputation for not being entirely truthful, I'm going to call you on that bullshit. There's also the mysterious fact that you don't show any of the uh, events that lead up to the incident in question. Now, there have been videos leaked in recent weeks where auditors have been shown pre-antagonizing people before a video starts to make sure that they get the maximum amount of anger out of somebody. Is that what you did? You pissed the officer off to the point where he charged you and then you started the video just so you can get a frivolous lawsuit out of the deal? I will be releasing that video of my wife in the room with the investigator and the one again with me in the room with the investigator so y'all can all see how the investigator was never on my side in this, guys. So what do I do now, guys? Do I contact the FBI? What do I do? How do I get this piece of shit fired and terminated? I now plan on filing lawsuits against Springfield, including Nashville, and I'm going to sue the living fucking brakes off of them. Because as I will remind y'all right here in this clip of how they were going to try to cover this up for him, but it was all caught on video. His crime was all caught on video, guys. So they couldn't cover it up. And... Then I'm going to play the screams of my five-year-old daughter that the grand jury sat there and heard and still did not give a shit because they'd rather protect their boy in blue. So guys, leave a comment. Make this shit go viral. This is wrong on every level. Here's what I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet that the investigators managed to get a hold of your cell phone through a subpoena and found that video in its entirety and showed it to the grand jury, not just what you showed YouTube. So, I'm sure there was a piece of the video in there that showed that you were the antagonizer the whole time. But you're not going to sit here on YouTube either and tell the entire truth about the incident anyway. So, we may never know on this end. It's all on video, and he already hems us up enough, and it's all on video. Yeah, it's a problem. And he shows his badge and says I'm a cop and everything. From there, you see him leave his driveway and go into the street and then attack Jeremiah. Yes, all on video. What are you sir, doing? Sir, Dude. sir. I mean, you should watch the video. He looks crazy charging at him in the middle of the street. It being on video okay. is, yeah, it's a problem. He's got the whole thing on video. Oh, boy. Jeremiah was in the street. He came over and said, put your hands behind your back. You can see his phone get tossed. I mean, I don't know why. What do you think you can go about get the rest of the people for no reason? Yeah, it's a problem. And then he comes at him, and you can literally see the scuffle on camera. 
the whole camera like starts shaking and crap. His daughter's screaming and crying, and he said he had his knee on the back of his. He's got the whole thing on video. Oh boy. Jeremiah was in the street. He came over and said, "Put your hands behind your back." You can see his phone get tossed, and he throws it. Over. Talk to him about the rest of it. Who? Right now. Talk about what? When Jeremiah came on his property first. I haven't. I didn't see any of that on the video. No, we talked to him, but but they weren't on his property when he did that. They were in the middle of the street, and it's on video. He, he literally attacked him. Now that's something that his video, his original video, did not show that he was on the officer's property first thing. Jeremiah does mention that he was on the property first when the words started to fly, but he doesn't really mention it later on. So, if the grand jury did not want to indict him because they saw the video, maybe they did see the whole video and saw everything that we didn't see on there that led to their decision. And if that's the case, it's all on you, Jeremiah. And I don't know why, where do you think you can go about with the rest of the people for no reason? They weren't on his property when he did it. Like that. They were actually like down where my car is, right over here. I mean, I'm gonna believe that you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I'm I'm just saying that the beginning of that it's on video, we're gonna have a problem here being who he is. Too. We're gonna have a problem. Probably uh, not. If, I mean, it's recorded. Yeah, even if we did the phone call, we'll put that on. No. For a misdemeanor. We're gonna do a report for him because he's asking oh, yeah. for it. Right. But he, and I do believe he, he's probably gonna go get a warrant on him. I'm sure. Seven forty-two, signal fourteen. No, I know because it's on video. But this is what Jeremiah does, and that's what he's. This is exactly what he's been trying to do. Yeah. So yeah, the cops knew exactly what he was trying to do. He was trying to set another officer up for a frivolous lawsuit that he could get. So. I'm sure they took a look at your uh, social media accounts such as YouTube and saw all your cop baiting videos and that might have been what did you in in this case. You left a trail on social media and it wound up biting you in the ass. And this guy let him do it. Well, he didn't know what he did. Well, yes he, yes he does. <laughs> He's a cop. These guys weren't on his property at the time that he just attacked them. Uh, I don't blame him. I, listen, <laughs> regardless, he should know. 7 12, signal 14. 7 14. Yeah, but he should know. If you're being recorded, it's probably going to go somewhere. And they weren't on your property when you just attacked them. They had left. That's the problem on that. I'm gonna get out of here. Um, I was trying to detain him and arrest him for yes. Because I asked him to leave. I guess he saw the video. And I just didn't have cuffs on me to put on him, so I just said, alright, I'm gonna pop up, and that's when I called 911. Yes, sir. So. Mm -hmm. Even you said in the other video that the incident started on his property. Now you're claiming that you, he told you to leave the street? You see, this is just only furthering the suspicion that you started the whole thing while on his property. No wonder the grand jury wouldn't indict him. You're such a bad liar. But wait! There's more! He posted this last night in relation to the issues with the uh, grand jury. I was going to read it aloud, but the grammar is just so bad, it would make me sound stupid just reading it. So just pause it and have fun reading it. And as far as you, Jeremiah, if you want to delete your channel, go right ahead. I don't think anybody will miss you.